Hello, the question statement is considering an expanding sphere of instantaneous radius r whose total mass remains constant. So, in the question, we are given an expanding sphere whose instantaneous radius is r. Okay, this is not constant. As the sphere is expanding, the radius is going to increase with the time. Okay, so it is not constant. Okay, but the total mass remains constant. Suppose capital M be the mass of the sphere and this is given as constant. The expansion is such that the instantaneous density rho remains uniform throughout the volume. That means as this sphere expands, the density is equally distributed in any of the sphere in an instant. Okay. So, density may be uniform, but it is uniform for each sphere. Okay. The rate of fractional change of density, that is 1 by rho d rho by dt is again constant. This is given in the question. Now, we have to find out the velocity of any point on the surface of expanding sphere. And uh, to, it is proportional to what? That is what we have to tell you. Okay. Now, to know the velocity of any point on the surface of the expanding sphere, let us consider a point on the sphere. So, suppose this point is A. After some time, it will become A dash. Okay. So, the radius is changing with the time and the change in radius with the time is actually the movement, shows the movement of the point A which is our velocity. So, this is what we have to find out. We have to find out the velocity is proportional to what power of r. This is our question. Now, as we already know that mass and density is discussed. So, we can use a simple relation. Density equals mass over volume, which in this case B rho equals capital M over 4 pi by 3 r cube. So, at particular instant, the radius is small r, suppose, and uh, the mass is constant, so it will be capital M in any case, and density is rho at that particular moment, suppose. Okay. Now, we have to calculate dr by dt. So, we can easily see that from this equation, we can just differentiate this one, and uh, we can then get the dr by dt. Okay. But then we can simplify this one. Okay, so we can actually make this simpler. So we already know that this is constant and the derivative of a constant is always zero. Which means if I write this equation in uh, this manner and then I differentiate both sides, then the right hand side will, all, will become zero. Okay, so this will become zero if I differentiate. And the left hand side, as the density is changing and the radius is changing, so both are variable. And if I differentiate here, I will have to apply product rule of differentiation. Product rule of differentiation. And this side, right hand side will be zero. Which means rho and differentiation of r cube will be 3r square dr by dt plus the second function as it is differentiation of first one which is d rho by dt is equals to zero okay this implies we can take this term to the right hand side and then this will become negative okay so 3 rho r square dr by dt equals minus r cube d rho by dt okay so okay so, sorry this left hand side this is r square Next thing, we can find out dr by dt, which is velocity. So, I'll uh, directly write down this as v. And uh, this will be r cube d rho by dt divided by 3 rho r square. r square can cancel the power. And then we will be remaining with the minus r over 3 and 1 by rho d rho by dt. And by this time, you already know what we have. we are going to do. So, this quantity is again constant, 3 is constant, negative sign is constant, which means the velocity is proportional to the r raised to the power 1. 
which is our option one that means option one is correct 